We are given a ball inside which the potential is varying as a r square plus b. So it's a symmetric distribution. We need to find how what is the charge distribution rho inside the ball. So, so rho is coulomb per meter cube. So we are given the potential. So first thing is we are going to calculate the electric field. So if you know the electric field, then with Gauss law we can find talk about charge inside as q in by epsilon. So let's find the electric field first. We are going to use minus this our standard result minus dou e by dou r r cap. We don't need other terms as v only depends on r. So if their other terms are there, their derivatives will become zero. So let's say there was a theta component here. So dou e by dou theta will become zero because v does not depend on theta. So this will give uh, if you put the value of v here. You will get the E R as two A R R cap, a minus sign also, or R cap I can add into R and it will become minus two A R vector. Now, if you remember, electric field inside a uniformly charged sphere at a distance R was given by. Rho r cap, rho r vector by three epsilon. So this is similar to a negatively uniformly charged sphere. So we can directly compare the two results to get our rho. So minus two a is equal to rho by three epsilon, which gives rho is equal to minus six a epsilon. Our answer. So once again. This electric field which we got as a function of R is similar to that of an the that of an electric field inside a uniformly charged sphere with the charge density rho, and we needed to find the rho in the question. So directly compare the coefficients of R vector and got our answer. But this is not a standard way. This is just a happen chance that the two terms were similar. If there was an R square term here, then this method will not work. So we need to know the standard method also. So here, we the standard method is of course we'll calculate the charge inside the Gaussian surface, and then by Q in by epsilon we'll equate it to E into area of this spherical surface. So S E is symmetrical. Why symmetrical? Because only depends on R vector. So as it is symmetrical about center using Gauss law on a spherical surface at distance r, so this is the r, right? We are not talking about x. Our Gaussian surface is outside one. That inside sphere, inside shell, we will only take for calculating charge. Our Gaussian surface is outside at a distance r. So using Gauss law on the spherical surface at a distance r, e r. Into four pi r square is equal to integral of dQ by epsilon. So e r we have already seen it is two a r vector. Let's write it in normal scalar form. So minus two a r. See why scalar form? Because here ds dot r vector will give ds into r, and integral of ds will be total area. So minus two a r into four pi r square is equal to integral dQ by epsilon. Integral dQ is charge on this shell, which is rho x into four pi x square dx. See, we don't know rho is going to be constant, so we have to assume it's not constant, and we have to write rho x times area of this shell into width. So this is the small volume dV. 4 pi x square dv by epsilon, integrate it from x varies from 0 to r. So this is the one It comes to this, and then we have 0 to r here and r here, r cube here. So we are going to differentiate with respect to r both sides. So this is a standard mathematical way to resolve these kind of equations. So inside everything which is x except dx will become r. So right side will become rho r into r square, 
In left side, we have to differentiate r cube with respect to r. So this will become 3r square. 3 will go here minus 6a epsilon r square. Which gives the same result as this. So this is the, this is just a, in this question this worked, but rest assured this will not work anywhere else. So this is the one which you need to do. The standard systematic sure shot way.